Hey guys, good evening and welcome to my exciting channel. We're discussing Mandela effects of the like. Thanks for joining in tonight. Welcome all Mandela effectings. Hey, I want to talk to you about the uh, this hurricane. You guys remember a hurricane, uh, in particular Hurricane Aaron, uh, just barely missed New York on September 11, 2001. What do you remember? I don't remember that, guys. I'm telling you, this has to be a Mandela effect. Um, and I have I have to attribute this one to Bo Brady. Um, he got 21 thumbs up for this one and zero thumbs down, just so you know. Um, and he provided evidence, and I'm going to add to that evidence, okay? So just showing you here. This is the short video clip about Hurricane Aaron. Check this out. If we look at what was happening just about 400 miles to the west of there in lower Manhattan, this is from our MODA satellite from NASA. And you can actually, if you look very closely there in lower Manhattan, you can see the smoke coming down uh, from the Twin Towers there on September 11th. That very brisk northerly flow, a cold front had moved through and deflected this hurricane from threatening or at least getting to New York City. But you can still see the smoke there on our satellite. An incredible picture there. Gosh, I don't remember that, guys. I have to tell you. But he also provides this little video here, 9-11 um, Anomalies, with um, Dr. Judy Wood. Check this out. They showed on the Fox News. They also showed on CBS, weather over Manhattan is nice as can be. Kind of interesting. Then we have Geraldo Rivera a year ago. He knows about all the hurricanes. For the past 40 years, he's celebrating of, of doing the news. They're reminiscing all the various hurricanes along the way. And this was just a year ago. He, he said this. Morning. You know, people ask me why I have been so attracted over the years to hurricane coverage, but it, it, there's risk involved. There is, uh, you know, the peril of not knowing what's going to happen, that adventure, and it's pitting yourself against the, an enemy. It's like war, only no one is shooting at you specifically. Uh, yeah, that's what the allure, but there is an area storm that I am not, that I, the juices don't flow, and you look yeah. and check it out. Look at that. Remember that? that? When that oh. I watched that live. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. And maybe a store on YouTube. Uh, you know, but you got to get up close okay? and personal. And the, this was Hurricane Ike, I think. This, uh, that was Rita. Really cool. That was, uh, wasn't this uh, Rita? You would know. Wow. You know I think it was Rita. Isn't it? Rita in Galveston, Texas. Yeah, yeah. Galveston. And, uh, Imagine uh, you know, if it was hit New York. Before that changed so many of our histories, it was so, so dramatic. You know, and it's well, one funny thing I think of. I think of if only a hurricane had come on 9-11. Remember, they didn't knew how, they didn't know how to use instruments. The terrorists they they took off in Boston, right. and they literally, after they took over the aircraft, they steered by line of sight. And it was that crystal clear September day. Sure was. And if it were only uh, one of these weather days, history would have been rewritten. And I think about that a lot now, and especially this time of year. So, are you somebody, where the peak of hurricanes is? Yeah, you're somebody. Forty years. Forty years. Imagine that. Isn't that Forty years. Forty years. Gosh. There's New York, right off the end of Long Island, Cape Cod, it was actually raining that day. There was an airline attendant who flew out of Boston that morning. He didn't know there was a hurricane until he saw it on my website. Gosh, it's giving me chills. He said that before they take off, they have kind of a powwow with the, the, the crew, the pilot, the flight attendants and so forth, about anything, any anomaly they need to deal with. No mention of a hurricane. Pretty interesting. Wow. That hurricane was the longest lived hurricane of the season. The first major hurricane of the season. Started out at the end of August. Came up this way in the four days leading up to 9 11, it went in a straight line. Now, if anyone has Thursday. evidence of like a storm tracker, I would like to see that. If you guys have any, if you guys have been tracking point, storms, because like, I I don't remember this. I, I'm not joking. And turned around that afternoon and started heading out of town. Well, it was the closest point. It was the largest, kind of unpacked, like a figure skater, kind of stops, and then got smaller again and headed out of town. Try not to make this too long for you guys. It's kind of weird that we didn't hear about it. That's that's odd. What do hurricanes do, after all? Well, here's the storm front. Here's the ground. You 
have a, like a static field between the two. Ahead of a, a hurricane or a weather system, you know, people often say they can feel the weather coming, they can feel the weather changing, because they feel that different energy system. And you often get dry thunder ahead of a weather system. It's sort of like uh, arcing between two points. You know, when you drag your feet along, coming up to, you know, across the carpet, and come up to a door handle and reach out, you get a spark, it arcs across. It's kind of like that. Guess what? On 9-11, the three major airports surrounding Manhattan reported thunder. And in uh, JFK Airport, LaGuardia Airport, and Newark Airports. So oh, we no. know that hurricane was close enough to cause a static field around it. Here's what was shown. It's making it harder and harder to believe it was done by networks. actual terrorists. About That's what I want to say. About 15 minutes before the North Tower got its hole. For the first event of the day. So there's no reason to not have business as usual. I drew in these red arrows pointing out the lightning all around the perimeter of the country. Because there's this high pressure system, and all around the edge of that, you had an electrical storm going on. But here's what should have been shown. And uh, whether. Uh, and I'm sorry I'm boring you guys by this. I just have to get this information said, like, out there. How much, how much effort does it take to put an icon on the map? Here. This is the approximate mm. size of the hurricane and the location at that moment. In full view, it's right against the coast. Let's look at the Earth's magnetic field. Oops. Okay. So that was that little video, and let's just see here. So that wasn't that long. That wasn't that bad. That was about, I don't know, about five minutes. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, check this out. CBS mentions the hurricane, but not by name. Look at this. This is 9-11 uh, morning weather reports. Ah, oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Three in the last hour. That was yesterday. We're going to have just a beautiful day today. This is a real cold front, folks. That means this is a boundary line of the very best of beginning because another cold front moves in just for Friday. Okay, right here. About two minutes and 30 seconds in. CBS mentions the hurricane, but not by name. Kids. Uh, on this Tuesday, the night of the Latin Grammys, sunny skies down through Texas, uh, all the way from the bottom of Texas to the top of North Dakota, a little rain to the right of North Dakota, parts of North Dakota may see a little rain. To the west of the country, no problem. To the east of the country, uh, no problems except down in Florida, a little rain. Northeast, we'll see a uh, little rough seas along the New England coastline from that hurricane that's going away. Miles and miles of sunshine, Miles Davis. We're going to put miles out there today, nice as it can be across the Northeast. Uh, rough seas still uh, from, uh, uh, from the chop from that hurricane, but other than that, it's kind of quiet around the country. We like quiet. Unless it's quiet. It's too quiet. That's a quick look at the national forecast. Here's an early look at your weather. Hi, everybody. I'm Hill. Look at this. NBC doesn't mention the hurricane either. It's like they were trying to block it out of our consciousness. Better. Let's check your weather, see what's going on. For today, Gosh. we've got uh, a lot of cool weather in the northern states. We've got some hot weather. Something is trying to tell us something about 9-11, and they're trying to hide it. With a lot of rain, but it's being exposed. Of rain in parts of Florida, partly sunny in the Pacific Northwest, Seattle today. Sunshine at 75, sunny in the northeast, and low humidity. Speaking of hair, what's the deal here? Charles, why do you say to speak hair, girl? Well, there you go. You certainly are. So that's what's going on around the country. Here's what's happening in your neck of the woods. Well, we've had a fresh, cool, dry air mass move in overnight. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Tom Kirine. We're up to 67 degrees here in northwest and comfortably dry with a nice breeze coming in about 5 to 10 this morning to make it a little gusty this afternoon, uh, maybe 10 to 20 miles an hour with bright sunshine, highs reaching the low this hurricane. 80s. And we've got a cool evening on tap tonight. Ought to be widespread 50s for lows. And during the day tomorrow, the upper 70s for highs. Then Thursday, partly sunny. Could have a passing shower Thursday evening. Otherwise, dry weather all the way to the weekend. Wow. So yeah, Dr. Judy Wood, check her out on YouTube. Uh, this is a morning weather map. What if Eric, it says here, what if Hurricane Aaron had hit
on 9-11. Look at that. Um, Teresa Lynch sent me some of this information here. She actually had a magazine. Uh, it's the Daily Tribune. Um, let's see, Gall Gallipols. Uh, thousands feared dead in attacks. We will pass this test. George Bush. American Nightmare. Yeah, I'm sorry for the crudity of the photo. But these are all related to 9-11. You're welcome to freeze it and zoom in if you want to. Talking about all over New York City. I mean, it, it was like, I remember it being like clear as day out, guys. That's all I'm saying. Everybody seems to know where they were at during 9-11. The day of death. Look at that. So, that just kind of shows you the weather in the background, maybe. But here's a photograph of Lady Liberty and the Manhattan skyline. Um, yeah, again, I'm sorry it's really blurry. Uh, but yeah, just, just so you can see the background, okay? But yeah, thanks guys for checking me out. Um, this is like a huge Mandela effect for me. I, I'm like shaking in my boots here in some of these. But, yeah, thanks, guys. Have a great evening, and uh, God bless.